Mm. I'm eating my skier. <laughs> awesome. Awesome breakfast. Blueberry flavor. But it's day six of our road trip here. I'm <laughs> you can see me like thinking, oh, six, six. Yeah. We are in Egilstadir at the moment and we're driving more north to Mirvatten and we will do the Stutlagil Canyon, we will do a cave, we'll do a ge ge geothermal area today. We have quite a packed program because it's also quite a drive and the hike to the Stutlagil Canyon is four kilometers there, four kilometers back. So we need an early start. So I'm finishing up my skier and we'll see you on the road. So we are on our way to the Stutlagil Canyon and the weather is totally different from yesterday. Yesterday we had like 17 degrees at the max, sun, blue skies, now it's grey, 7 degrees, so it's 10, de 10 degree difference. But that's true what they say about Iceland, right? The weather changes every day, every half an hour, every hour. We are on our way back from Stuttgartville Canyon. Beautiful, stunning, mm -hmm. really special. It's a really nice hike, I would say. Yeah. The... You almost can't call it a hike, it's just maybe like, like a, more like a straw, like a little up, up a hill. Yeah. It's, it's a, almost it's, five kilometers, so yeah. it is. It's really easy. Oh yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, like, yeah. it's yeah. long, it's like five kilometers one way, but you have to go back, so it's 10. <laughs> But it's really easy to walk. But it is cold today, so we have our scarves out and our gloves because it's only like five or six degrees at the moment. And there's a really cold wind up here because we're quite high. So it is a bit cold, but it's definitely a highlight. And um, yeah, you get a nice waterfall halfway through the hike. And it's a beautiful nature here. Oh, I slipped. <laughs> beautiful nature. You can see into the canyon from here as well, which is beautiful. Yeah. So, yeah. Definitely another check yeah. on the highlight list. Yeah. So what I wanted to add about the uh, Stutlakil Canyon, you have two options there. Go for the hike version. It is a long hike, but it's beautiful. Don't just go for the viewpoint from the top because you won't see the canyon for what it is because it's yeah. around the corner you can't even see it from the viewpoint properly. That's a weird viewpoint. It's really close but you can't really see it. Exactly. And I also wanted to add that I just found out the power of the ring, the power of the one ring. Because I was singing along to the music on the radio and Tim was like, nah, because I was singing out of tune. But I was having a lot of, a lot of fun. And then Tim said, nah, maybe. I said, I will do it because oh, I'm married now. It was a Dutch car. A Dutch car. On oh, no, Iceland. Sorry. You got me out of the, my ring story. It was a really exciting ring story. Anyway, um, so I said, look at this. I just waved the ring at him. Like, you know how much it costs to take this ring off? So I can sing whatever I want out of tune whenever I want now because it's way too expensive to get divorced. Power of the ring. First thing I just noticed. If I have more epiphanies about Power of the Ring stuff, I'll get back to you. Follow me on Instagram for more relationship advice.
geothermal area today called Kverdier and you have all those amazing smokers all over here and it stinks of sulfur like rotten eggs all over but it's so beautiful you have all those different colors yellow and, and I don't know but it's so gorgeous and maybe we can stand in the smoke maybe that's interesting it stinks a lot <laughs> Ooh. oh it's really warm Ooh, cozy Oh, that's nice. Because it's actually minus two, so it's really cold, but now it's warm. That was quite nice, actually. And this is also a stop on the ring road, so you can miss it. You can already see the smoke in the in the distance. It's really close to me, Walter. Well, I can't see anything. <laughs> it's minus one and we are wet because of the, the steam. Smoke. Yeah, you can <laughs> see we're wet, so it might not be the best decision. So we'll probably be cold in a little bit, but... And it stinks. It's... <laughs> it's sulfur. I it have to say, I actually got used to it now. I don't yeah, smell it Yeah, but it stinks a lot more than at the geyser. Yeah, but I, I actually prefer this area above the geyser area. The geyser, of course, itself is really beautiful, but this area just looks so other otherworldly, like another planet with all the smoke plums everywhere. I love it. I'm wet and it's only minus one degree. So this was maybe not the smartest decision to stand in the smoke. I'll be freezing in a little bit. It's also really bizarre all the sounds you hear around here. It's like you can really hear that the, the earth is alive, that it's doing something. That's like so much going on beneath our feet that we can't see. And here you get a glimpse of what's actually happening on the ground. A next stop near Mivatten is Gordagia. Uh, which is a little cave and this is actually the cave where Jon Snow and Ingrid had their first time so let's go inside and see what it's all about it's also a geothermal pool you're not allowed to swim in it but back in the day people would bathe in here I actually think it was not a rather nice place to bathe because it's super hot water and nicely secluded so let's go in Mivatten area, then Vogafjos farmhouse restaurant is a real tip. You can even go into the stables and pet the cows. But the windows inside the restaurants also look out on the barn with the cows there. It is really cute and the food is really good they have some really special traditional Icelandic food on the menu so definitely go here the combination of flavors the lamb the geyser bread which is really that dark ray bread the jam the cottage cheese. This is really good, really good. And of course, we're on a farm and they have fresh milk, so I ordered one. Cheers. Mm. So fresh, so creamy. Oh, love it. I'm having the beef burger with the beef from the farm here. The cows that Tim just petted when he went into the barn don't have to think about it because that definitely makes me sad but the meat is so good the, fresh, the freshness really. mm. 
for dessert, we're having the Gazu bread ice cream, which is that dark rye bread that we had for the starter. So super curious to see that in a ice cream. Mm. It also has a little bit of a texture. It has chocolate in it as well. It's really interesting. I don't think this is my favorite ice cream. I'm not sure if I will have it again, but I like it for, for now because it's it's something that I haven't had before. It's a flavor that I've never had before. But I don't know if, it, if this is my really my thing. Welcome to our bed breakfast at Lake Mivatten. Look at it, it's so cute. Very tiny, but it's really cozy. We have an amazing view. We have two um, huge windows. And we just were about to open our door. We're just unloading the, the car. And then they came after us with the car. Oh, by the way, we knew that you were on honeymoon and we had something for you. That, like a, a huge fruit basket. And they just brought it. It's super nice. And what I love the most is the surreal lava field, which is the view that we have here. How awesome. End of another day. End of day six. Oh, wait. <laughs> Tim just went into the kitchen of the hostel because we are at the B&B &B part of the resort. I don't know, resort is not the right word, but there's also a hostel and, a and there you have a kitchen that you can use as well. And Tim just yeah, cut a few up. meters that way. I just had to walk there and use the kitchen. And he cut up the melon that we got in our fruit basket for our home because it's a honeymoon. So. Uh. You get the first piece of melon. I get the first piece. Also cut some mango and kiwi. And the rest is you can mm. eat like this. Mm. Oh yeah, we also have two oranges. I didn't cut them. Mm. Are you going back now? You're not going back mm. because you put your pajamas on. But we had a really good day again. Beautiful hike, a ten kilometer hike. Well, we we showed you everything, right? We don't have to recap, but. The food that we had tonight was really good as well. And, nice view and the geothermal. Yeah, the view was amazing. We showed you that as well. We showed you everything. We're just going to close up this video. Tomorrow will be day seven. It's going fast now. Mm. Already the second week starting. Yeah, it's only Monday, four Monday, days tomorrow. left. Four days left, right? Today's the first of May. It's already yeah. May. I am happy. I have to say, I keep missing Nala a lot. <laughs> like... Mm. When we're doing like stuff, then it's okay. But every and now tomorrow, and then, like tomorrow will be the longest you will be without us. Yeah. So I'm really happy that like uh, we have four days left here, and then on day five from now, we'll fly home and see now again. Mm -hmm. I have an itch on my nose, but I can't scratch because I have a melon in my hand. Can you scratch my nose? No, you can scratch that with a melon. I can't scratch my nose with a melon. <laughs> Well, it's time to close up this video so I can scratch my nose, finish my melon here. Take this. No. Take this. It's yours. <laughs> I can't scratch and, and have a melon. You just put your phone away. I've put my phone away, guys. Thank you for watching this episode. I'm going to put my phone away. So, oh. Your oh, hair I, looks like you've already slept in this the next morning. My hair is like this because of all the steam at the geothermal area. It was really little steam. It was a lot of steam there. Stinky steam. I actually got used to it. But I'm yeah. still stinky. See you in a new episode. Bye. <laughs> mm. It's really good. Mm. I'll take one. Mm. I'm going to put my phone away. Oh, now I can scratch my nose. That is nice. <laughs>